Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. You get the Dow Industrials up 113, Nasdaq's up 23, S&Ps are up uh, 9.5, gold contract up $1.70, trading at 1,230 an ounce. Silver up 22 cents, at 2 cents rather, at $17.18 uh, an ounce. Platinum down 590 at 1,250 an ounce. Copper flat at 303 a pound. Light sweet crude off 92 cents, trading at $81.18 a barrel. Bonds, you have the 10-year flat. 30-year flat, 10 years at 127.02, 30 years at 141.21. King dollar, down 161 ticks at 85.78. The euro is up 22 at 126, and the yen is trading down 23 at 108.04. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. It was call, folks. I know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, we are right at the highs of yesterday, folks. Uh, 1961.95 was the high of yesterday. We've hit 1962.78. If you take a look at the SPY, what we have with the SPY, SPY right now coming right into that high. Uh, we're at 196.11. We've hit 196.26. The high of yesterday is 196.20. Uh, and this is where it's going to get really interesting, and this is why. So yesterday we did 154 million shares. Couldn't hold the price. Pull, pull down, closed at a, a price point out here of the 194.93. Had light of oil, 154 million, 154 million is going against the 221. Now today, we're at 83 million. So what we're going to see is that we're going to probably end up with about 50 million at the most. The real key is going to be, can we hold 196.20, number one. Uh, larger yet, though, is do you actually hold uh, the high the closing bell from yesterday. It looks at this point that we will. Uh, we'll see where this shakes out. Now, that's on the daily. We take a look at the weekly, and weekly, no doubt, is impressive. Uh, the, the weekly out here, what we did price-wise, we went from uh, 188 to 196. Volume-wise, it's not there. We've done 675 million thus far. That's going into 872. Uh, the high of the downdraft there it was 197.60. We haven't made that area. What I expect you're going to see uh, in these next 55 minutes is that you'll, you'll see it back off slightly off of the high of yesterday. The real key is going to be how far does it back off. NASDAQ composite. We go look at the composite. What you have with the composite? Same set. They're all going after the highs right now. The composite up 23 bucks. We're at 4475. The high of yesterday was 4475.54. Um, with, we've got over that real key is going to be, okay, where is this going to be closing out? Are they going to be able to juice it up and into that level? Uh, what we're going to have in the NYSE is light volume in an extraordinary way, probably around 650 million versus 800 million. In the NASDAQ, what we're going to have is that you're going to have uh, 1.6 billion versus 1.9. The three Qs, the NDX 100. NDX 100 also going the, if we use the three Qs, yesterday the three Qs, we hit a high of 98.36. We've hit 98.45 thus far. Uh, we're going to do, we've, we've done 27 million right now. We'll do about 32 million. The 32 million is going against 48. Real key is going to be uh, what type of back and off will this do coming into the close? Weekly, weekly basis. The Qs went from 92.80 to 98.45. That was a 210 million versus 286. Uh, so on the weekly scale, the baby is not there, period. Gold contract. We take a look at gold, what we have with gold. They try to push gold down into lower price today. Didn't succeed. And Friday's the day they normally can succeed at that, too, by the way. Uh, we had a price spread today in gold of 12.34 was the high. 12.28 uh, was the low. When you take a look at this on, uh, 85,000 contracts was going into the low of yesterday, which was 108, 40,000. That was going into the day of strength that had 258,000. Now, if we take a look at the GLD, uh, which is the Street Tracks Trust, what you're going to see there, and if, if you don't have the future bar, uh, the GLD is down on 3 million shares today versus 6.4 yesterday 
versus the, the day of strength of 9.4. So bottom line is that the way this GLD is still set up and the gold contract, GLD wants to go to 123, gold contract out here, we pull this up, gold contract wants to run up into this uh, 13, your first, your first, well, 1297. 1297, the swing point where I'm going for there, folks, is the 28th of August. Bond market, we're going to take a look at bonds. The Everready bond market just won't back down, folks. Uh, what you had out here today, price spread went from 127 to 127.14. We've done uh, 1.2 million contracts yesterday. I believe we did about 1.3, 1.4 yesterday. Um, so you're, you're backing down, you have lighter volume, you're backing into uh, 2.2 and 2.2 million contracts. So that is still saying bonds want higher price, lower yield. Right now, the 10-year is yielding 2.269. 30-year, US Z4, we go into the 30-year, we take a look at the 30-year. 30 30-year 30 right now, flat market. Price-wise out here today, we went from 141.20 to 142.17, so that's quite a spread. It's almost a full point. Um, we did 317,000 contracts. Yesterday, uh, you banged out 372, and we're going into 596. King dollar. We take a look at king dollar. We have a king dollar. King dollar backed off slightly. Um, that, we're down 24,000 contracts. You're, you're down 161, and, you know, she's going to need have to... She's going to need more contracts and price as it, as it moves into lower price. My take is that we got an ABC structure on the way down. We have a high volume spike at the low of 84.52. That's going to get tested. The real key at that particular point as it gets tested, will it get tested with volume? Will it break with volume and break downtown? Some of the high volume stocks in a low volume market out here. You got, uh, let's see. So... Pandora's off uh, 320. You got uh, Facebook up 28 cents. Amazon's getting smoked. Amazon's, we'll go through Amazon. Amazon's an ABC structure on the way down. Um, Amazon is down 27 at 285. You got Juniper Networks off a of buck 27. Uh, Delta is up 137. You have American Airlines up 119. Some of the large cap stocks out here. You got uh, American Express up 64 cents. Caterpillar's up 10. Coca-Cola is up 11. You got Oxy down 135. Big Blue is down 62. 3M is up 355. And we'll just go over to Amazon first. We take a look at Amazon. This is what we have with Amazon. Amazon come out with the numbers last night. Market didn't like the numbers. Bottom line, Amazon wants to go a lot lower. There's a million gaps down below. It's an ABC structure on the way down. And when we take a look at this, what you're going to see how this is set up. This is a clean ABC. Um, and what, yet, what we have had happen here, and this is pretty intense because Amazon had to do an, an extraordinary amount of shares today in order to do this ABC structure on the way down. And guess what? <laughs> it's done it. Uh, so it's going into a swing point, and being the most conservative you can be is that I take the swing point before the actual low. See, the low is the week of May 9th. The week of May 9th, you get the 22 million shares. The price is 284.35. We've hit 284, so it's already broken that. The week prior to that, we did 33 million. So I'm going to take 33 million and say, okay, are you breaking 33 million on volume on a weekly basis? Bottom line, yes, we are. We've done 35.6 million on a weekly basis. That 16 of that is today. That's why it's so dramatic, folks, that the volume characteristic as of yesterday is like, okay, you want to hit it, but you had to come up with numbers, you had to come up with something that's extraordinary in order to break that. So... In that context, what you have is this. You have a monster ABC structure on the way down. Um, you know, the, you just take the high to the low. And it's a good one. You know, the high up there is 406. Your low is uh, 284, right? So uh, what's that, 16 and uh, what did I say at the top? Yeah, 16, say 22. It's 122.8 a to B. Uh, you take the 122 bucks off of uh, 364. What do you got? You got uh, 244. 244 is coming at you. It's breaking it and breaking it with volume. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Dow Industrials right now up 103. Nasdaq's up 20. S&P's are up 8.5. We're going to be right back.